Hello Libra, welcome back to your monthly zodiac readings. This is Risa here. I trust you guys had a wonderful month and are gearing up for June. Today the reading is going to be a little bit different as I have had some viewers request that I put a little bit of general energies as well into my monthlies because mostly I just concentrate on romance or on emotions. So today the first half of the reading is going to be uh, your general energies that will affect you for the month of June and the second half will be the general energies that affect your emotion your emotional life romance whether you're in a relationship or you're single or you don't even care about a relationship in your life but you still have relationship with yourself and relationship with family and others so that's how I'm going to split up the reading I'm going to pull two cards that are major arcana cards to see what the major energies are going to be that you'll deal with in both areas of your life, your general energies and your romantic life. And then I'll pull cards from that. So, let us begin. So this, this reading here is going to focus on anyone with their moon, their rising, and their sun sign in the sign of Libra. The main energies that will be affecting your sign for this month will be the High Priestess. The High Priestess is all about your intuition. It's about higher knowledge. It's about connecting to your guides. It's following guidance. It's following your intuitive push or desire to listen to your intuition this month. I guess things are going to be changing in your life this month and you need to follow your intuition. Because if you don't or you allow others to... Um, inject their decisions or their influence into your decision you may end up very unhappy at the other end of that things may not work out for you so you need to follow your own intuition you need to connect with the phases of the moon as well if you need to learn them you need to learn them you need to learn how the moon affects your life in general or your moods or what kind of alchemy you can do when there's a new moon, when there's a full moon, when there's a waxing moon. You need to learn these things so that you can manifest the elements in order to achieve the things that you're trying to do for yourself in the month of June, which is a very magical month. You also have the card of the star here. You have healing that's occurring in your life for the general energies for yourself. This is could be relating to family, friends, people at work, or just some general healings that you are doing from past hurts or past disappointments or past events in your life. You have the star card here. The star card is someone that shows others who they truly are. So you're starting to be more authentic with who you are in your life and you're starting to show other people. You're starting to follow your guidance. Your guides are showing you a path and you're starting to get on that path. So your intuition again is going to be highlighted this month. You're getting the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is a wish that's coming to you along with the Star card together that tells me that there's something that you have wished for. There is a significant person stepping into your life, whether it's a mentor or a soulmate, a romantic partner, something. You have wished for something and you're going to get it. Okay, because following your intuitive guidance is going to run you right into whatever this is that you have wished for. For all of you, it's something different. You're also finding good balance between your emotional life and your financial life. For the month of June. It's going to be fluctuating but it's okay because you're going to be doing very well at balancing your life this month. So kudos for you. You're also going to be looking at what you have accomplished up to now where your finances are concerned, where your home is concerned, the things that are surrounding you, perhaps even your children. You may need to talk to your children and see how their finances are doing or what's going on with them because you need to be aware of what's going on around you and those that you love. There is something new and emotional is coming into your life as you're getting the Ace of Cups. So there could be a birth of a child. There could be a new emotional experience that you start, a new project perhaps even, that's going to bring you a lot of love into your life. And maybe for some of you, it could be a new person that steps into your life. Now let's see, your emotional life, the, the main energies that are showing up is the death card. So a lot of the things that you have done up to now where your emotional life is concerned, either relationships or 
Uh, if you're single, you'll meet someone new. If you have been in a relationship, you're going to say goodbye to the relationship because things are going to change dramatically because of the death card. Whatever has been going on in your life, there's, there's a death that's going to get put to it. So new things can begin. All right, so lots of changes for you for the month of June when it comes to your emotional life. There's going to be a sacrifice that you will have to make, okay, in order to be able to move forward and to achieve the things that you do want to bring into your life. The sacrifice is usually the hanged man. This is for enlightenment, to know you, to know yourself, to know what it is that you actually love, what you want in your life, and go for it when it comes to your emotional life. There's going to be some obstacles. There always is. When there's something that we truly, truly want, there's going to be obstacles to achieve it, to get it, to go for it. But you will, and you'll get past the obstacles, no problem. I mean, well, there is a problem because you're rowing your little boat <laughs> with, with arrows, for God's sakes. But you're getting there. You make it through the obstacles, and you get to the other side where there's more peace, where you'll find peace in your heart, okay? Because you're finally going in a direction that makes you happy, that brings peace into your life. This is the the world card. The world card represents travel, world travel. It represents travel to another place. It may represent you closing a cycle in your life, which so does the death card. You're still a bit attached to the past because that little cord says that you still remember the past or you, there's still someone from the past that that pulls at your heartstrings, but you're still going to be changing your life. You're still going to be ending a cycle so that a new cycle can begin. For some of you, it could be marriage. For some of you, it could be just a new person that steps into your life, or you end a relationship so that you can later on begin a new one. You have a lot of passions. You have a lot of people perhaps vying for your heart. You do have a lot of oppressive energy as well. There's a lot of pressure on you to do these changes, perhaps. Or maybe you don't know how to do them quite right or all at once because there's a lot. I guess there's a lot of changes that are coming into your life and they're very, they're very hard to deal with. It's, it's going to be more of a load that you can handle. So you may want to delegate some of your work or some of the things that you do do so that you can clear your mind and, and go through some of these changes without too much of a problem. You will have to take a rest though. And your arguments or your discussions or your thoughts, your struggles, you need to hang them up for a while and just rest, rest, rest. Your emotional life is in turmoil or it has been for quite some time and you need to really relax and rest and find the person that, or find the situation that brings peace into your life so that you can rest, so that you can sleep again, so that you can really be at peace, you know. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So work on your partnership skills. Give yourself a chance to be in a relationship. If you are in a relationship, give it a last a list a last try. Retreat. Go off by yourself. No phones, no computers, no no distractions, no other people, so that you can spend time alone conversing with someone that you care about and, and find out if there's still something there. There could be a re reconciliation with someone from the past that's returning into your life. So if that's the case, then this retreat is to get off by yourselves. It's time to disconnect from the world and just talk to this person uh, that may be coming back into your life. Again, this could be a person that you have known before from past lives. You have unfinished business or it could be someone from your past in this life here where you still have to close out cycles, you haven't talked enough. There's still things that need to be cleared up. You need to give your relationship a chance because it could be a true love of yours, a true love, one that brings you peace finally to be able to get past all of your obstacles and get past the pains from the past and just close out that cycle so that a new one can begin together. Look at your patterns in relationships. 
What, does, what happens in your relationship? What are your patterns? What are your negative patterns in relationships? Do you not trust? Do you not love enough? Do you not open up enough? Are you not honest enough? What's going on? Is your partner that way? Is it a reflection that you're looking at so that you can see what you need to work on? There are patterns in your relationship that you need to focus on because that's what's going on. There's a pattern there that you haven't noticed, that you haven't realized that it's coming from you. And then all of the partners that you are with will reflect that so that you can learn to work on it. It may not be their problem alone, it's also yours. So look at your patterns. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your own behavior. Once you do that, your relationships will change and they will become what you envision them to be because there's patterns that you need to fix, people. Seventh chakra, you need to listen to your intuitive guidance again. These are downloads that are coming from the divine. You need to pay attention because they're trying to guide you, to help you to bring more balance into your life, Libra. Here's your scales. The balance between you and another in a relationship is important. It's what you're here to work on, and it's what you need to do. Big happy changes are coming into your life, so open up your heart, open up your arms, and receive the changes that are coming. Love you guys. Talk to you again next month. If you would like a private reading, please contact me via my email, RisaTarot at gmail.com.